Hello, and welcome to Get Real with Michelle. Gratitude every time. Today's question is, why telling yourself to stop doesn't work? And absolutely true. It seems that the world is out there saying, stop, I got to stop. This is one of the most common phrases I hear from people who are approaching me about their lack of confidence or their insecurity or feelings of imposter syndrome is that they are consistently telling themselves, I got to stop. You know, I got to stop um, being nervous. I got to stop, you know, overeating. I got to stop, you know, um, uh, hesitating and doubting, I, you know, or they're saying I got to start, right? So it's either I got to stop or I got to stop, start. And neither one of them work. What happens, especially when you're telling yourself you got to stop do something or don't do something is your mind needs a target. So in order for you to actually, for your unconscious mind, remember the chatter in your head. And I say, remember, for those of you who've been watching me and following me, if not, understand the chatter in your head does 90% of the work. The you that is watching this, that is conscious, only makes 10% of the decision-making process. When you are actually taking action, it is already been in process way long before you took the action. It is rooted in your unconscious thoughts and belief systems. Now, what happens is when you keep saying you got to stop, it's because it's like a, when you have a garden and you know the saying, if you pull the, uh, if you pull the weed, it'll come back because you have not pull the root. You must get to the root before you can actually stop that weed from coming back. Now, having said that again, because your mind needs a target, when you tell yourself to stop doing something, the only target it has is the thing that you're currently doing. So if you tell yourself, I got to stop procrastinating, your unconscious mind that makes the decision making only hears procrastinate because you haven't told it to do anything different. You're still talking about the thing you don't want to do. Just like when people are talking about, you know, I got to stop dating these kind of guys. I got to stop eating. I got to stop overspending. I don't want to do this anymore. Or they talk about what they don't want. When you aren't clear on what it is you actually want, the desires, the dreams, the goals that you have in your heart, you haven't given your unconscious mind that 90% a target so it can start to work on your behalf. So the thoughts in your mind will be about something that's desirable and pleasurable and fun and amazing versus feeling this obligation and this overwhelm and this frustration that you can't do what you actually are completely capable of doing. So the example I will give you is some people say, I, I you know, I got to stop being nervous. The reverse is, I want to be, or I am calm and focused, right? I got, I got to stop overeating. I am healthy. I am exercising, right? So again, you know, um, I got to stop procrastinating. I am focused. I am organized. So those are the words. So those are like you've heard affirmations before. So look at the thing that it is you want to stop doing and ask yourself, what is it you really want? Why do you want to stop doing this? There has to be another, there has to be a reason, an underlying and compelling reason why you have been talking about something you had to stop for so very long that you actually are truly desiring. Start speaking about that as an affirmation, as already done, as successful, so your mind has the target and it can start to inspire you and remind you to get up and move in the direction of what you want, because we don't actually stop. Life is constant, it's changing, it's evolving. The clock is ticking. Everybody has 86,400 seconds, 1,440 minutes and 24 hours. Time keeps moving. So there really is no stopping. So saying that, keep moving in the direction that you want to move, create the affirmations that you want and begin and you will be amazed at what starts to happen. Just test it. Test the theory for a week. Every time you hear yourself saying stop, replace it. Sit down and write out 
the one thing that's bothering you the most, rewrite it as an affirmation and make it your business. Post it on your bathroom mirror, on your refrigerator door, have it as a screensaver on your laptop, your phone, your iPad to remind you that I am going to speak affirmation to myself for an entire week about something that's, that's meaningful and matters most to you and watch what happens in your life. Have a great day. <laughs> Michelle Baker here answering your questions. If you have a question, please put it or a comment, share this out if this is helpful to you, to anyone and tag me. Um, also, if you, if you have a question you want me to uh, like post, send it to me at hello at michellebaker.com. And I look forward to seeing you with the next question. Thanks so much.